So Conor McGregor has released a new video that shows him on an exercise bike with two tourniquets applied to his thighs. I've been being asked a lot of questions on what exactly he's utilizing in, in this exercise and what they actually are are basically tourniquets. And the technique he's using is what's called blood flow restriction therapy or BFR for short. Now for anybody that's brand new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and check out some of the other videos that we've done, especially on Conor McGregor. But for now, let's get back to the video. So. In this BFR, blood flow restriction therapy, it's, it's a technique that's been around for several decades, but it's really become more popular in the last five years or so in sports medicine. And what makes it special is basically imagine having a tourniquet or those of you that have experienced a blood pressure cuff, you know that as it tightens up, it becomes very uncomfortable. But what the goal of this BFR therapy is, is as it inflates these tourniquets on both of his thighs, it basically creates an environment where it restricts the blood flow coming back from the leg. So in terms of blood flow, we have the arterial blood flow that goes down to the leg and we have the venous return that comes back up. So with this BFR, it's stopping the venous return, which causes an environment in the leg lower than the tourniquet to basically have a lower oxygen. The lower oxygen creates a physiological stress that makes the muscle work much harder, even though it's a lower weight and therefore can cause muscle hypertrophy. We also know that from a, from a chemical standpoint, it can cause the, the environment to create or, or to release hormones such as growth hormone and other anabolic type hormones. So imagine a scenario why this would be perfect for a Conor McGregor or someone that has recently undergone leg surgery. We know Conor McGregor had a very gruesome injury where he required a tibial rod of his tibia and fibular plates and screws of his fibula. So after an operation like that, he had restricted weight bearing where he's not allowed to place all of his weight on his leg at once. So with this, with these techniques such as BFR or blood flow restriction therapy, it can allow us to start doing exercises with le much lower weight, but still have the same results because it's taxing the physiology of the muscles much more. Creating this environment with the lower oxygen, it basically causes the body to work harder for a lower amount of weight, but still have a result as if they're lifting more weight. And so just to give you an example that we know that muscle hypertrophy or muscles growing, we have to do at least about 80% of our one rep max to create muscle hypertrophy. But our studies are showing that with patients that are using the BFR, it's actually closer to about 30% of the max weight can be done while still accomplishing the hypertrophy. That's kind of the update on what that technique w was for Conor McGregor on the bike. He's got two tourniquets on his leg. He's, it's called blood flow restriction therapy. The goal of it is for him to do exercises such as that exercise bike and more likely also doing strength training such as leg extensions or squatting, leg press, lunges, things like that to help build muscle with lower amounts of weight while still achieving muscle hypertrophy. So that's kind of what's going on. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. Again, if you guys enjoy this channel, make sure you guys hit subscribe. And until then, we'll see you guys next time.